Hey Collective, good morning. Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge, huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Collective, this is a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates and discard the rest. Okay, if you find that this reading's not hitting, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline, okay? You should. You can also hit me up on the... Wow, I was going to... Should want it to come out. Someone in this collective, call me, man. <laughs> or call me, sis, okay? Hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, okay? Because I don't know why should it came out because I don't tell anyone they should do anything, right? Do what's best for you. All right, let's see what's going on. Collective, let's look at some new love, someone new coming towards you. It could be platonic, it could be romantic, it could be uh, reconciliation with a family member, okay? But let's see new that's coming towards you. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. What messages do you have for the collective in terms of new things that are coming towards them, new people, new experiences, just new? Oh, okay. All right, dear. Let's see what's up here. Okay, ciao, ciao. <laughs> you got the Hierophant. You got two of Wands in reverse. And you got ten of wands, so a lot of wands here. It looks like let's let's go deeper before I say anything. Let's go deeper because on the surface, it looks like somebody has made some kind of decision. They chose a path. Someone may want a higher level of commitment with you, but it's burdening them, or they're stressed about it, or they're really worried about it, or they already have a lot of responsibilities. Swear, so please clarify the higher thing. Please clarify the Hierophant. Oh, okay. You could have been in a relationship with this person. Hold on, let me see. Spirit, can I get one on the Fool in reverse? Someone... Someone feels like a fool. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Spirit, like for real? I said new though. I said new. Right? N E W. <laughs> please clarify Six of Wands. Not K N E W. Not someone they knew. New. N E W. Some of you, you could have been in a relationship with someone. This could have been um, a higher level of commitment. You could have been married to someone or you in a long-standing common law relationship with somebody. But Or this person that's coming towards you, they were in a commitment with someone. They feel like a fool, though. Hmm. Someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith towards a new cycle. They feel defeated. I feel like someone doesn't want something to change. Mm -hmm. But the wheel of fortune, you know what it is? So things have changed. Someone may be opposed to change, right? Because I feel like somebody, a cycle is closing out and they kind of, they don't want that to happen. But the wheel of fortune here is like, this, collect, this could be you, right? Put the energy where it goes. But it's like the wheel is turning in someone's favor and somebody else is feels defeated or this person feels defeated. Someone feels like they sabotage themselves. They want to tell you that this is someone who has a lot of respect for you. They could have been watching you. You know what? I feel like someone may be afraid to come towards you. 
and I feel like this person may sabotage themselves. I feel like they sabotage themselves by um, the things, how they think, right? Someone may think that you are too good for them, right? Mm -hmm. But they view you as someone who is very fortunate or very blessed, but they feel like they wouldn't be so lucky to be with somebody like you. They view you as someone who is very inspirational. They have a lot of respect for you. You get a lot of respect from people. You're noticed, you're recognized. They want to tell you something. They view you as someone who always has good news. So you could be like a, have a platform and be a speaker and you always tell people things to make them feel better about themselves or inspire them to keep going. But they view you as a healer. They view you as someone who's very connected. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person's been watching you. Yeah, I feel like you inspire this person as well. They have a lot of respect for you. Spirit, please clarify two of wands in reverse. Mm. This person has made a decision to let go of somebody or, or reject somebody. They could have left the home mm -hmm, and they're feeling a bit insecure. And that's what I was feeling. I didn't feel like it was anything malicious. I felt like... This person may want a chance with you, but they feel like they don't have it. You know, this is someone who may want to shoot their shot, but they're afraid because it's like, why would the collective look at me? Why would they notice me? Why would they want to talk to me? Like they could have anybody, right? Look at all these people that want them. Spirit, please clarify. This person has made a decision to... Spirit, please clarify four of cups. They could have rejected somebody because they, they felt disappointed. Yeah. Hmm. They're keeping something to themselves, though. Spirit, please clarify four of wands. Please clarify four of wands in reverse. Just, just stay with me, collective. The story is coming out. It's coming out. Please clarify four of wands in reverse. Can I get one more on the Empress in Reverse? Someone could have felt like um, whoever they were with was supposed to be their person or was their person, but they could have realized that it wasn't. It would, could have been a false twin flame dynamic here. Karmic soulmate. For some of you, you are dealing with somebody who wants to go, double back. They want to come back around, okay? This person feels like a fool because the cycle closed out or you closed out a cycle. They see that you're in a new chapter of your life and you're doing very well for yourself, okay? They see you being recognized by other people. This is also another reason why they feel defeated because they see that you're very blessed and fortunate in life. This is someone who feels like just good things just happen to you. Some, I just heard someone say, I should be with you. Someone believes that they're supposed to be with you. You guys are supposed to be together. You rejected this person, right? And intuitively, they know why. Mm -hmm. This is someone who could have left, um, left the home, but they didn't provide any stability. Someone could have left when the going got tough, right? Instead of fighting and overcoming challenges with you, they just cut the scene, right? So... Why would you want them? Now they're feeling insecure because they didn't take care of their business. They didn't handle business with you. Now they want to come out of the cold. But this is, I feel like it's not what someone did. It's how they did it. Okay. Someone knows that they rejected you. They could, like I said, they could have left a home situation here or called off something. You could have been married with someone and they wanted a divorce. They're regretting that. They want to come out of the cold. But this person doesn't, they don't feel good enough. They also know that they did not take care of the relationship the way how they should have. Spirit, please clarify 10 of wands and it's burdening this person. Yeah, because you're such a beautiful energy. Look, you show up as queen of cups here. You're very intuitive, you're caring, you're nurturing, you're loving, you're supportive, right? You're unconditionally loving. When you love someone, that's it. You just love them, right? 
Spirit, can we get some more on the Ten of Wands? Yeah, this person was in and out. They weren't serious. They could have been indecisive with you. They could have played games. But they also see that you're not thinking about them anymore. You're not worried about them. You're not feeling trapped or stuck or restricted in any way. And that is burdening them because it's like this person knows that you're done. This is what fell on the floor. Eight of Wands. Yeah. This person sees that you're moving forward very quickly. I'm hearing with the quickness, okay? Um, I feel like they want to say something to you or they want to send you some kind of message here. This is someone who may try to send you a text message if they're not blocked, right? Or slide in your DM or call you or write you a letter. But they want to say something to you. Spirit, can I get one on the Knight of Wands in reverse? What's the Knight of Wands in reverse about? Yeah, I told you, they're watching you. Mm -hmm. They're watching you and they don't know what to say. They want to, but it's kind of like, well, what's the point? Collective's not trying to hear anything from me anyway. Spirit, can I get one on this? Um, four of Wands and Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to give you an offer. They could want to give you a big apology, okay? They may want to invite you out to talk. Right, but look, you got page of wands in reverse that fell on the floor. But they feel like you're gonna either reject them, turn them down, you're gonna give them bad news. This is someone who feels like if they invite you out to talk, you're gonna tell them no. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but what did they do for you to have this energy towards them? Okay, this is somebody who wants something new with you, okay? Because I was like, Spirit, I said new, not someone they knew. But it's like they, they feel like a fool because they want to start a new cycle with you. Mm -hmm. They want a, a do-over. They sabotage something. They know that they could have had it and they sabotaged it. But this person was somebody who, they may not have done the best things to you, right? They could have been trying to win it all. Cost. Spirit, please clarify five swords. Please clarify five of swords. Yes. Like, yeah, they sabotage things. They weren't investing. They were wasting your time. Mm -hmm. All right. So the wheel just spins you out of their whole hemisphere there. Right. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, move on, collective. Spirit, please clarify um, six of wands and page of wands. This person sees that you're very defensive towards them. They also feel like they have no access to you, like access has been denied. This could be someone who has made many attempts to try to reach out or talk to you, but something always happens where it doesn't work out. But this is your ancestors that are like, nope, you lost your chance, keep it moving. Yeah, I told you. Six of wands, six of swords, okay? You've moved into common water. Some of you, you moved away or you're in the process of moving away. But this is to create stability and harmony in your domestic situation. Some of you, you are in a relationship with someone who is just kind of cankerous. Like, they would do things to just get under your skin, to hurt your feelings. They, and at that time, they didn't care about what they did. They didn't care that they were wasting your, your time. They didn't care that they weren't investing. So Spirit moved you away from them. And now they feel dumb. Spirit, please clarify um, Empress in reverse. And five um, coins in reverse. Yeah, look, the Emperor in reverse. Can I make this shit up? Empress in reverse. Wow. This is not a good match. Hmm. Someone doesn't realize that you have changed. Collective. This person wants to come out of the cold with you and they want to come back thinking that things are going to be 
It's like they want something new, but they want a new cycle of the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? In When you were with this person, this person had you in an energy of being insecure. They had you in an energy of not taking care of yourself. You could have been busy taking care of everybody else, them and everybody else, but yourself. You were not putting yourself first. They could have had you in an energy of being more in your masculine energy. So you had to be very aggressive. You always had to have your defenses up with someone. You could not relax. You could not be vulnerable. You could not be feminine. Someone in this collective with the seven of coins in reverse energy, you pretty much had to do all the heavy lifting in a relationship here. You had to do most of most things, right? So you had to be the mother and the father. You had to be the man and the woman. And it never allowed you to be soft and gentle and and never, but you really, this is how you really are, right? With this queen of cups energy here. You weren't allowed to be that way. You had to be aggressive. You had to act like you were the dude in the relationship. For my masculines in this collective, some of you, you were with somebody who made you have to be harder than you, you're naturally supposed to be. We're all masculine and feminine energies. It's learning how to balance the two. You weren't allowed to tap into your softer side. You could have been with someone who was always attacking you always accusing you, always doing things to you to get under your skin and trigger you, you know, and push your buttons. So you weren't allowed to just be. This person wants to come out of the cold with you, but they want you to be in that same energy because that's the only way you're going to put up with their stupidness. This is somebody who wants to manipulate you. They want to control you, but it's because they don't have control over their own life. Mm -hmm. This is someone who likes to play mind games. They like to use people. They like to waste time. They don't have their shit together and they're petty as shit. Hmm. This is someone who knows that you've made a decision. It's not even into, this is someone who knows that you know that you needed to reject them. Do you get it? Do you get what I'm saying, collective? It's like, I know that you know that you shouldn't be with me. I know that you know that there's no reason for us to get back together. They know that. Hmm. They know why you rejected them. It's not what someone did. It's how they did it. Yeah. That's why they know that if they give you some kind of offer or they try to talk to you in some way, that you're going to tell them no. You're going to reject them. Deep down inside, they know that. Someone could have left a home, right, to affect your stability here, to have you stressed out, mm -hmm. losing sleep, suffering extreme anxiety. I feel like with this emperor in reverse energy, I feel like they did that on purpose to try to manipulate a situation or get you to do something in a certain way. Sir, please clarify Queen of Cups. Now it's burdening them. Yeah, because they see that you have a lot of opportunities coming towards you now. Someone sees that you planted some seeds here. Mm -hmm. They see them. They see that you have a lot of increase coming into your life or you're about to. Mm -hmm. Someone knows with this Wheel of Fortune, they know that you deserve good things, Collective. They know it. They know you deserve it. And it's burdening them. Burdening them. Someone's stressed here. With the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords, wow. Someone hasn't slept for like four days. They, they, they may take like a little power naps, 20 minute naps here and there, but they're not sleeping. They're not getting restful sleep and it's because they're stressed about you. Spirit, can I get one more on this um, Queen of Cups and Ace of Coins? Someone knows you're about to hit it big, okay? And they're sad about that. Yeah. Because they see that you have decided, you've chosen a path, right? And you're clear about it. You know that this person can't make you happy. They can't match your level of happiness. Five of Swords again. This person knows that they sabotage things with you because they're not happy inside. Mm-hmm. 
Someone intentionally chose to try to fuck around with you, Collective. Yeah, they did. And they ended up sabotaging themselves. Yeah. Spirit, please, can I get some more on this Knight of Wands and this Page of Swords? This person comes out as a poor communicator. So they may not know how to articulate themselves or the things they say doesn't make no sense. They like to try to play mind games with you. But this is someone who's, they're not the brightest, right? That's why they feel like a fool. Look, yeah, they feel like a fool. Look, Ace of, um, Ace of Cups. This person knows you don't love them anymore. Mm -hmm. Can I get one more, Spirit? Yeah. They know that you don't want to work on things with them. And they know that they did it to themselves. Ooh, yeah, I told you. I told you. Did you see that one just flip out? Mm -hmm. They're in regret. They see you moving forward. This is someone who they pushed you. They pushed you to walk away from them. They pushed you to separate from them. Mm -hmm. They pushed you to get away and stay away from them. And they regret that. The Five of Swords came out. They fully sabotaged this with you. Spirit, can I get one more on the Emperor in reverse? This is someone who's only a match for you, Collective, when you're not in your highest energy. So when you're not striving to be the best version of yourself, then you're in the, you match this person's energy. And that's what they want. They want you to be stuck. They want you to be stagnant. They want you to be unhappy. They want you to be insecure. So you feel like you need to be codependent on them. That's when they feel like, yeah, we're a good match. No. But when you're loving yourself, they don't like that. I think I feel like I got this reading before. And it's really messed up to me that this person would be so sad that you love yourself. I got this message before for somebody. This is a big one for you. Mm -hmm. Self-love is the best love. Someone wanted you to be in an energy of where you were too focused on taking care of them that you were not taking care of yourself. Can I get one on the Four of Cups and the High Priestess? Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. Yes, I told you. They know <laughs> that you know you have no business with them, okay? Some of you in this collective, you know what I just heard? They know that you don't... Um, they know that they shouldn't expect any type of forgiveness from you or that they shouldn't be surprised if you don't want to forgive them. Because with the Five of Swords... Twice here, that's 10 of swords. This person stabbed you in your back. They betrayed you. They left you for dead. Someone, like I said, it's not what someone did. It's how they did it. They could have went on and did the most, right? It's like, okay, we break up. That's fine. You don't have to go around slandering me and fucking doing the, the most disgusting things to me just because we're not together. Try to get some kind of reaction. Whoever I'm speaking to, you chose to respond to somebody and they're upset about that. They regret that. Because you didn't play into their game anymore. You didn't try to come for them and, and make a fool of yourself online and go try to cuss off people, slide in people's DM to go cuss. No, that's my man. That's my woman. No. You blocked all of them and moved on with your life. Look at this. Moved on with your life successfully. You overcame all of these obstacles, all of the backstabbing, all of the betrayals, all the lies, all the deception. Everything. And this person regrets it now. Spirit, can I get one on the Emperor in reverse? Nine of Wands. Yeah, they know it's going to be hard to come towards you. They know it's going to be a whole challenge. But what it is, is what I feel like collective... This person knows that it's going to be challenging to get you back into the energy that you were when you were with them. Mm -hmm. Because with this queen of cups here now, you know your worth, you love yourself, you love yourself so much. And it took you a long time to get here. So this is someone who's going to, they're going to come back and they may good, be good for a little while with this um, knight of cups. This is someone who will sound genuine in the moment because in that moment, they mean what they say. 
But as soon as they start to get comfortable, they're going to try to do the same thing. They're going to try to pull you down and tear you down again. So you're feeling insecure. You're feeling like you need them. You're feeling scared. You need to be doing all these things and jump, doing all these acrobatics and jumping through fire burning hoops to try to keep them with you. No. They know that it's going to be hard to try to do that now, but they will, they're not, huh. they want to. So this is somebody with the nine of, um, the nine of wands. They know it's going to be challenging to do that, but they're willing to do it. Hmm. There's someone who wants to come around and slowly erode your confidence. Erode your, your sense of um, self-stability, right? Being stable within and secure within yourself. Spirit, what's this person's deal, man? What's this person's deal? Why are they like this? Why are they like this towards the collective? What's this person's deal? The moon. Eight of pentacles. Three of pentacles in reverse. Ace of pentacles. Wow, there's a lot of pentacles here. Wow. Collective? I'm just going to keep it a whole stack with you right now. Someone sees that you're on your way with this ace of coins here. You're on your way to making a lot of money. You're getting a lot of increase. You're on your way to being very stable, very happy, especially financially. And you're not trying to work with them. So this is somebody who's upset at the fact that they're not going to get to enjoy the things that you're building for yourself. No. Hmm. You got ace of pentacles twice here. And they see it. Spirit, can I get some on the moon in reverse? This could have been someone who was trying to keep you in an illusion that you could not work on something or build something for yourself. And once you separated from them, you realize that it was a whole damn lie because you're doing great. You're actually doing better without them. You're stable for swords in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's friggin' losing their damn mind. Yes, they are. Someone's losing their mind here. They need to just leave it alone. Leave you alone. Spare, please clarify. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yep. They see how hard you've worked or how hard you're working to uh, drop these burdens. Someone put a lot of responsibility on you, collective. Okay? They gave you all of their problems and were like, here, if you love me, you'll take this on. You'll do this. This is somebody who will start problems and be like, oh, if you love me, you'll fight for the relationship when they're going around sliding in people's DMs to cause bring argument to your doorstep. No. Someone was going around trying to like, they're very flirtatious. And they would lead people on it. Like it made someone feel good to lead people on because it stroked their ego. So you're in comp they put you in competition with people. You didn't even know that you're in competition with anyone. You're just here trying to live. This person knows they can't do that anymore. They see how hard you have worked to drop burdens, right? They were a burden on you. Spirit, please clarify three of coins in reverse. They know that you don't want to work on anything with them. And it's driving them mad. Yes, look at this. Judgment in reverse because you've judged this person harshly. This person does have some kind of fear, though, mm -hmm. because they know that you're not going to give them a second chance. For some of you, you're not going to give them a fifth chance because they had a second, third, fourth already. They know that. So please clarify Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Prince of Wands. You're moving forward towards, and you're very passionate, you're very motivated, and you're determined Okay, it's like a, a new smart of a smart <laughs> spark of determination within you to build what you want. It's like when you're in a relationship with someone and you turn around and you realize that they wasted your whole time. It's like all of this time, all my good years I was spending with you, I could have been so much further. Now that this person's not around, you're like really on it now. Okay, like all this time that I wasted with you, I want to make up for it. That's why you have all this money coming in. It's like double your money for double your trouble. Someone you're focused. You're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on your stability and your security. Someone could have left a household here and put you in a real fucking bind. Hmm. Now your goal is to be stable and secure and it's already on its way. These seeds have been planted. 
Spirit, can I get one more on the Three of Coins and Judgment in Reverse? Three of Wands in Reverse, yeah. You are not waiting for this person. Mm -mm. You know your ships are not going to come in with them, and they know that. This is someone who wants to come in with an ulterior motive, and that's what I felt. There's really only like one cup here that's upright. This is someone who in the moment, they are sorry in the moment. But as soon as they get comfortable again, it's back to the same shit. They're trying to tear you down so you can match their frequency. So they can go on with their fuckery again. This is someone who's sorry they're upset that you got away. So they're trying to figure out how to come back and get you stuck again. Yeah. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're coming out of hermit mode. You've been in hermit mode for a long time. I feel like you could have been doing a lot of healing or at least enough to get you to this place where you're like, I can't hide myself from the world. I need to go out there and show, show everyone who I am, right? This is where success comes for you. By not being afraid, by not... Not allowing someone to have you isolating yourself because of what they did. Mm -hmm. This person does miss you though. But I feel like they miss what you did for them. Whoever I'm speaking to though, this is beautiful energy. I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy for you. Because you're coming out of that space of feeling like you need to just get away from everybody and okay hermit mode is good to a certain point right everybody needs to take time for themselves to gather their thoughts and gain clarity and heal mind body and soul whoever i'm speaking to you have been in hermit mode for a very long time okay mm -hmm. you're starting to come out of that you want to meet new people you want to do new things you have new opportunities coming towards you because you're not afraid anymore and you're not sad anymore mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you, you're healing. Yeah, and you are coming into alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. So this is someone who, or you are someone who, if you say you want to make, or you want to create stability and security in your life now, you're doing things where you can partner with network, partner with other people that can create streams of income for you. You could be learning a trade or learning something that's going to um, uh, expand your career right? Expand your territory. You're healing. You're coming into alignment. You're no longer hiding yourself. For some of you, this person was hiding you, okay? They did not want you to show what you're capable of. They did not want anybody to see you because they knew everybody would want you. Who wouldn't? Yeah, you put an end to that. Someone could be a Scorpio. Yeah, you put an end to having people have you in third parties and fourth parties. People pretending to care about you, but they're really just talking shit about you behind your back. Or trying to give you bad advice to get you to sabotage yourself. You deaded all of that. Some of you, this is a group of friends you had around you that you needed to separate from. Because they didn't have good intentions. I told you, I can't make this up. They didn't have good intentions. You had a group of friends around you that were toxic as shit. And you put an end to that. Some of you ghosted these people, okay? You could have went into hermit mode and got real comfortable there. <laughs> it's nice and quiet and peaceful in hermit mode. But Spirit's like, with this newfound energy of healing, you can attract people that are peaceful too. You don't have to hide, okay? You don't have to feel like you have to be super protective of yourself all the time. You can attract people that have the same energy and frequency as you as well, Okay? Because you put an end to all of this shit. I love this. Some of you, you left a very toxic situation here with someone. With the emperor in reverse, this is someone who wanted to keep you low vibing, keep you on um, whatever kind of addictions you had. They wanted to keep you in that energy. Yes. I'm hearing, um, what is it, enabling? Uh, so I'm getting another storyline here. Someone in this collective, someone wanted to have you in an energy of a sex addict or sex addiction here, and you've healed from that. So they can't come in with this anymore. 
Mm -hmm. It's like, let's get drunk and have sex, or let's smoke and have sex. And it's like, no, you're not about that life anymore. That's not, no shade to anybody, do your thing, but you're not about that life anymore. You've healed that part of yourself. Eight of Swords in reverse. Look at this, Eight of Swords in reverse twice. You are not thinking about this person. You realize that you're not trapped. You're not stuck. You're not restricted in any way. You are limitless and you are here to expand. And that's exactly what you're doing. You are coming out of hermit mode. You're not hiding anyone. You're not letting anybody hide you. You're not letting anybody dim your light so that they feel brighter. Yeah, eight of cups. I can't make this up, collective. You walked away from all of this. I feel like you had really deep feelings for this person. You really love them. Okay, you love them like cooked food. But you had to walk away and it's your healing, right? Spirit said it's time to come out of hermit mode, whoever I'm speaking to. You've done enough healing thus far for you to go on the next chapter, the next level in your journey. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to meet some people like you. I'm hearing it's going to be something to celebrate. Yes, temperance. You've walked away from people who brought imbalance into your life or tried to keep you in an energy of not being balanced. Mm -hmm. With this king of swords, I told you, okay? This is someone who likes to play mind games. They're a liar. They're disloyal. But this is also somebody who likes to, um, they believe their own lies. That's why I, I keep getting strongly that somebody... What they said in the moment sounds so believable. That's why you would fall for it because they believe their own lies. That's why it sounds like the truth. Some of you are dealing with a narcissist here. Mm -hmm. And they're stressed because they don't have supply from you anymore. Yeah, they are. You've walked away from all of that. of letting someone uh, gaslight you. And confuse you you've healed whatever aspect or part of yourself you felt was codependent on this person they created that dynamic this is someone who exploited your vulnerability they exploited your ability to love unconditionally they took you for granted they took advantage of you your forgiving nature yeah knight of swords Sun in reverse. You said something to this person and you told them the truth and now they're depressed. Yeah, they are. Ten of swords, yeah. <laughs> Some of you could have just outed this person with this moon in reverse here. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yes, if you think you're fooling me, no, you have not. Someone in this collective, you outed someone's Ross. Yes, you did. And you told them what's going on and what they did and who they did it with. Some of you had some receipts. So, okay? Receipts that cannot lie about how this person betrayed you. So they know. That's why they know they can't just come back in like that. They can't come back in unless they get you back into... This karmic cycle. And in order to draw you back into this karmic cycle, they have to get you back into that energy. But they can't. Okay? This is the, with this um star card here. You you didn't you didn't put a band-aid, so you're not soothing things. You went to the source to heal. That's why you were in hermit mode for so long. You went to go deal with the real issues of things. Is this inner child wounds? What are they? What happened to me? Why am I felt like I needed to be around people who didn't treat me good? Why was I gravitating towards people like that? Why was I attracted towards people like that? Why would I continue to stay with people who did not treat me good and did not respect me and did not show me love? You went to the root and you healed it from there. It's not a band-aid that you put over issues. You did the real healing. That's why this person can't get to you anymore. Right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. They want to come try to draw you back into some um, cycle here. Karmic cycle. But you released yourself from that. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding back from this person. 
You're holding back everything because you know they ain't never going to change, okay? A lot of you, you avoided a disaster here, okay? By separating. Yes. Mm -hmm. This person is a soulmate for you, though. But they need to go deal with themselves. Yeah, you had to move forward successfully. You couldn't allow yourself to be caught up in this whole label. Oh, you're my twin flame. You're my uh, divine counterpart. You're my soulmate. You couldn't allow that to keep you stuck anymore. Some of you, don't get it twisted. Okay, I'm a twin flame too. I'm a divine feminine, but you can't. The twin flame journey is about you. It's about you healing. It's about you becoming whole. And once you are whole, you usually trigger your person to work on themselves too. But the whole premise of this dynamic here is for you to work on yourself, okay? So that you can move forward on your ascension journey successfully. This is about spiritual growth here. You're not allowing yourself to stay stuck in this um, idealism of, oh, it's my person. No matter what they do, I'm going to let them come back because we're eventually going to get into union. Spirit's like, fuck them eventually. Work on yourself. Come into union with yourself now. Focus on the now. Be present. That's what it's about. Right? And however your person helps you to do it, thank them. As, as long as the end result is this, that you're whole and you're healed and you're moving forward. As whoever I'm speaking to, you don't care about no labels. Good for you. Because that will keep you stuck. Because someone you were, you kept allowing someone to come back, come in and out because you believed that they were your divine counterpart. And they were a soulmate for you. 100% they were a soulmate. But so what? They weren't helping you anymore. You learned what you needed to learn with this person. It's time to move on. Right? It's like you already graduate a, a, graduate a grade and you're staying in there because your favorite person is still there because they don't want to do their work so they keep failing the class and have to go over. You're going to stay there and wait for them? No. Spirit said keep it moving. With the chariot, keep it moving, baby. You can't wait for them. Yeah, Princess of Cups. This is someone who's upset. They are emotionally unstable and emotionally immature. All right? They want to reconcile with you. Hmm. But you've already, they see, look at this. You've got two of swords in reverse again. They see that you've made a very clear decision here. Four of wands in reverse again to separate from them. Okay? Right? Someone in this collective, you're worried about being alone. Spirit said you're not going to be alone. The right person is going to come in when it's time, right? you got the wheel of fortune here. It's time. Six of wands, I told you. Six of wands twice. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to meet someone who's just as spiritual as you are that's coming in, okay? They could be a healer as well. This is someone who could be a high priest or a high priestess just like you. The energy matches. It's in alignment. Someone in this collective, you're going to meet a star seed just like you. They're a misfit just like you, baby. Mm hmm Yeah. Yes, I told you. Spirit wanted you to work on your own success, your own wish fulfillment, the things that you want for yourself, taking care of yourself. Spirit wanted you to take care of yourself. That's when you attract someone in. Mm hmm And someone's upset about that. They know. They know it's just a matter of time, sooner rather than later, that you're going to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. And they're upset about it. This person was emotionally manipulated, but it's not working anymore because you've healed from that. Mm -hmm. They know they missed an opportunity with you. <laughs> you got the Queen of Cups again. You are highly intuitive. You are, you are, um, it's like you're the definition of unconditional love. You are what it looks like. Unconditional love reincarnate you can't help yourself mm -hmm. you're learning how to be guarded though so you're learning who to give that love to and who not to because mm -hmm. not everybody deserves it 
<laughs> I heard a saying that resonated so much. It's like, love everybody, but you don't have to like them. <laughs> okay? And you definitely don't have to have everybody in your space. You're, you've learned how to protect your energy. Hmm. Okay. Spirit, any more messages? Spirit said no. I just want to get some last messages here. Spirit, can I get some final messages for the collective? Can I get some final messages for the collective? Someone missed an opportunity with, of having real love with you. Of something being so successful. They could have had it with you. But this person shows up as king of... Um, what is this? King of cups in reverse and you show up as queen of cups in reverse. They could have had it with you, but they just... They, didn't, they don't want to do the work. All right? Spirit said, don't wait for them. Move on. <laughs> no. No in reverse. So that means yes. Don't wait for them. Be patient. Okay? Some of you, you may be feeling a bit impatient. Like, am I going to ever meet my person? Yes, you are. Because this person is not the one for you. Okay? Pay attention. Stability. Yep. Yeah, a lot of you, you paid, started paying attention to the fact that this person did not bring stability into your life. And with the four of wands in reverse twice here, no, they did not. Someone could have come around and so it's like every time you're doing good, this person comes around and things just start going to shit for you. You can't pay your bills. You're losing your job, credit cards, bills or debts going out of the roof. You're having a hard time keeping up with just basic ex expenses. Like, no, this person has bad karma on them, right? Oh boy. Dress in red. This is someone who was easily tempted uh, and they tried to affect your freedom here. This is someone I told you, they wanted to dim your light. They wanted you to feel stuck. They wanted to feel like you didn't have any options and you were restricted. Mm -hmm. That is not true. You see that. They see that. They see that you found them out. Yeah. With the moon in reverse here. Yeah. You're becoming more balanced. Divine feminine and feminine, baby. I told you. Hmm. Spirit, any more messages? Any more messages for the collective? In closing, pull one last card. Any guidance and advice for the collective in closing, Spirit? Spirit said to someone that the cycle is over, okay? If you deal with this person again, it starts all over again. So remember what you went through with them so that you don't get caught up. And I feel like this is it's been instilled in you that you're not going for this anymore. Because I feel, so at the beginning of the re reading, I felt a heaviness. And at, towards the end, I feel a lightness. Like you, you do get it. You do see the difference. Some of you realize that this person was a dark cloud in your life, but it's because they're not happy. So they just brought that energy into the relationship because they did not do their work. This is someone who they don't, they could run off and get into rebound relationships real quick because they don't like being alone. They're not working on their stuff. And that's going to happen when you met this person. They didn't work on their stuff. They just brought their baggage from a previous relationship into the relationship with you and then put it on you with this 10 of wands here, put it on you. Like it's your fault and you're the problem. They were projecting all of their shit onto you, making you feel like something's wrong with you and you're not good enough and you need to work harder. No, it was never you. Don't get it twisted. You're not perfect here. But this is someone who exploited you. Ah, I told you, divine feminine. Okay, my masculines in the collective as well, okay, that are waiting for love. Spirit said, be patient. Okay, the door to romance, it's opening for you. And you're going to meet somebody who is just like you. Someone in this collective, you're a high priest. High priestess, you're going to meet a high priest. Okay? If you're very spiritual, you're going to meet someone who's very spiritual just like you. 
It's going to be successful. It's going to be a very healing relationship as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Spirit doesn't want you to be indecisive. Some of you, you may find that when you're meeting people, you're kind of, you may subconsciously be pushing them away because you're worried about a repeat of what happened in the past with people. Spirit said it's not going to be like that, okay? Relax into yourself. There's downloads that you're getting, someone is getting here, about a cycle, okay? Um, some of you are getting downloads. Listen to, Spirit's going to be revealing to you the right people to um, connect with and people not to. So you're going to know when someone is trying to deceive you. But this also comes from you not deceiving yourself. So seeing the truth about things with people so that you don't get back into a situation like this again. Okay, where you would see the red flags, the, the flag was on fire, but because of a label, oh, this is my soulmate, this is my divine counterpart, I'm going to put up with their mess. No, you don't need to do that. When you can be with somebody who's not coming with any of that, they're not coming with baggage. They're not coming to lie, cheat, steal, and deceive you. Yeah, attachment in reverse. Spirits are not to, don't be so attached to this. Continue to exercise uh, or be in the energy of detachment. It's like, I'm just putting it out into the universe that I'm ready for my person or I want my person to come and just go live your life, okay? And let spirit do all the heavy lifting for you. Because I feel like some of you may get stressed out and worried and overanalyze things and be like, this person's coming towards me. Are they the right person? Oh my God, they're going to do to me what, what my ex did to me and... Spirit's like, don't even get into that because you you will you will create an experience of self-fulfilling prophecy. Let things happen. Use your discernment. Okay. And don't lie to yourself about things. When you see a red flag, what are your boundaries? What are your values now? Okay. If someone if someone did what's our deal breakers? That's what it was. What are deal breakers for you? Okay. Like I knew, uh, I knew people that would break up with someone and because they don't like to be alone, they get into relationships with the same person. It's a different person, but it's the same energy, right? Because they didn't heal. So they keep attracting the same energy. And it's just like, go and do your work. Go do your shadow work. Work on yourself. Learn how to be okay with being by yourself. Mm -hmm. Detach, right? From people that are toxic and don't care about you. Don't lie to yourself. When people show you who they are, believe them. Mm -hmm. But this is also about detaching from worrying about thinking that you're going to meet someone else who's toxic. And, you know, the spirits like, you don't need to do all of that. Go live your best life. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Okay? Life is short. Make every moment count. And allow spirit to guide the right person towards you. You do have love coming in. Hmm. Okay. Okay, collective, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.